Hey guys, welcome to this week's Thorough Thursday, and today we're going to be going over the bench press. So let's get to it. So, to kind of go through this whole movement, I'm going to start from the ground all the way up to my hands touching the bar. So, when doing this movement, you want to have your feet planted on the ground as hard as you can to maximize leg drive. So, there's two ways of doing this. So, a lot of people like to go through their toes and really tuck them behind them as much as they can so they can kick their leg into the ground as hard as possible. So, that may work for some. I'm not a big fan of it personally because a lot of people tend to cramp in the thigh and hips while they're bench pressing doing this movement. So, when you have your feet flat on the ground, like I'm going to show you how to do it and have your uh, feet away from you a little bit, it's much easier to drive through the heel into the ground and really keep your legs at maximal leg drive without cramping as badly. Now from there, I'm going to go up to the glutes, which should always be touching the bench and be contracting as hard as possible. Which goes into the next thing, which is uh, squeezing the lats back to create an arch. So when you see some people arching, they're pushing through the legs so hard that their hips come off the ground. Now a lot of times that happens because they're not really flexing their glutes, they're just kicking out as hard as they can. So if you have your glutes squeezed as hard as you can and pushing your feet through the ground, you will remain contact with the bench. Now in order to really get that arch going too, we're going to squeeze our shoulder blades down and back as hard as possible. Now you may see some people have a huge arch like they're coming off the exorcist or something like that which is not what we want to see so the reason for that is those extreme arches have a lot of wear and tear on the spine because they're relying on the structure of the spine rather than the muscles around it so when I'm squeezing my lats as hard as I can and squeezing my glutes as hard as I can there is a natural arch from my muscles actually squeezing as tight as possible so another thing that is, is that it works the muscle tissue while doing the movement. So if you're doing this just to put on muscle mass or try to get stronger in general, you want to focus on relying on the functionality of the muscle rather than the structure. So now that I have my lats back as hard as I can, I'm going to drive my head into the bench as hard as I can. So the reason I do that is, so if you just do this on your own while sitting up, Pinch your shoulder blades back as hard as you can and move your head up and down and you'll, you should notice that your back actually contracts a lot harder as you have your head back. So once I have that established, my hands are going to be placed on the bar. Me personally, I like to do thumb width apart um, because a narrower stance or a narrower grip is going to be a lot easier on your shoulders. The wider you go, yes, you do work a lot more pec, but there's a lot more strain on the shoulders as well. So for an optimal or maximal amount of weight on the bench press, you want to have a closer grip. So if you get down onto the ground and put your hands naturally where they would be for a push-up, you're going to notice your strongest grip on the bench press is going to be about one to two inches within that uh, push-up grip. Now, another few key, thi uh, few key things uh, while doing the bench press is when I set up under the bar, I'm gonna roll the bar all the way to the edge and then get my eyes directly under that. So the reason for that is if I struggle and I'm pushing up, I'm way less likely to hit the J-hooks on the way up and just clear it all together. Now the other key thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my grip as strong as possible, gripping the bar as hard as I can and try to keep my wrist straight the entire time. So. When the wrists are cocked back, not only is that putting a lot of pressure on the wrist, but that also distributes the weight over the shoulder more, so you're more likely to press the weight over your face. So again, we're just trying to take the bar and go as straight up and down as possible. So that way, we're really blasting the arms and a little bit of the pec as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this version of Thorough Thursday, and I'll see you guys next week.